This thing you're seeing here is about to be the future of Capcom crossplay with Monster Hunter. This is how it's going to work. This is how it's all going to work. Potentially cross save, which will be insanely cool. Dude, I forgot that we played through Monster Hunter World again earlier this uh, this year. I completely forgot, and it was a blast. I had a great time going through World again. I couldn't believe how much fun I had. Dummy fun. Is Monster Hunter stories like a combination of things? The question is, do we actually get Akuma here? That is the huge question. Does Akuma show up here? Welcome back to Capcom Highlights 2024. I'm your co-host, Fighting Cowboy. It's day two, and today with me I have... Andy, I'm a community manager at Capcom USA. As you might know, we're splitting this broadcast over two days, so if you missed the first one, go back and check it out on YouTube. But for today, up first, we have... Street Fighter VI. Very nice. That is a video game that's been out for nearly a year. Street Fighter VI. Yes. Street Fighter VI launched in June 2023. Thank you for reminding us. The heat. In July, we met Rashid. Uh-oh. We're in getting September, there. Joined the fight. Uh oh. In December, all 18 fighters received outfit three. Yeah. Uh-oh. And in February, we added Ed to the roster. We're only starting to get warmed up. It's taking a while. Street Fighter VI also had a number of collaborations in the battle hub where players can get together. Yes. This month, we're featuring a Mega Man themed fighting pass. That's kind of cute how he has the slide. The, your favorite Mega Man game, Street Voter, is currently live, so we hope you Mega join Man in. 2, bro! Come on! Jesus, that's, that's now, not even a question. I'd like to share a short video of Akuma, Damn. who will be released in the game later this year. Those who doubted me, behold my power. Those who doubted me, behold my power, Akuma boys. They're just gonna show candles. That's it. Here's just some candles. What the heck is this Monster Hunter ass Monster Hunter stage? Hundreds of opponents, all fell by his hand. Cool. Dude is ripped. Of strikes exchanged. They forged his spirit. Akuma is mass the character. Every moment engraved into his very being. Show us the demon flip air dash. He has a stando now? Huh? Fists with ambition so great, they seek to soar beyond the very heavens. Misuts. <laughs> It is spring though. It's, there's there's butterflies and shit out. Cool, cool. I see this. It's 80 degrees Akuma outside, Capcom. In spring 2024. It is spring though. Not More. Only will Akuma be available to use as a fighter in fighting grounds, but he'll also appear in World Tour, where we'll Akuma's have Dank Cave in World Tour. Featuring him. This is only the beginning of Street Fighter VI. Stay tuned for more characters and content. Damn, he looks All right, sick. All right. He's finally here. He's finally here. Uh, back when the game was announced, I know I was you know, not in the lineup, so I decided to main Ken, but Akuma's always been the one with my heart. 
Yeah, you're not the only one. I think a bunch yeah, of Yeah, we get to do it again. We get to do another Soon Akuma Legacy. It's been 30 finally, years, finally dog. Soon. I mean, he's, he's I'm looking forward to it. The Akuma got, Legacy was mad Kuzu, fun. You got the uppercuts coming in from Ken. You got some air volleys. Like, and on top of that, he's, he's got that edgy dark thing to you that just kind of draws you in. Yeah. And speaking of those design elements, we have someone very special on the line with oh, us. Oh, God. All the way from Japan. We oh, have God. Cool. Nakayama-san, hype us up uh, for uh, Akuma, please. Hi. We're super excited to talk to you today about Street Fighter 6. We're all very excited for the addition of Akuma. Uh, looking at him, obviously his design has been updated quite a bit. What character aspects did you have in mind when you were updating him? I wanted him to be jacked and masked. Street Fighter 6 itself is Street Fighter in the story of 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 the story. なので前作に出てきた時のゴーゴーのちょっと貫禄をしました感じ、まあ髪の毛がね白髪になったりっていうのがあったりします。あとはえっとね筋肉の感じとかもえ仏像とかね動物とかをすごい参考にして。いや
really balance him very well because of his reach and shit like that. Next up, Exo Primal. He was weird in Street Fighter 4, he was weird in Street Fighter 5. For the latest info on Exo Primal where exosuits and dinosaurs clash in massive team This game is still So okay, action. here's the thing about Exo Primal. I hear this game is Exo really Primal good. Has featured two collaborations with it's other just that it takes franchise. a long time to get to the part that's really good about it. First was like the, the end game apparently is super fun. And the second But you have to like Hunter play a whole bunch of it to get to the end the end game now where it is really fun. Announcement for title update four. Cool. Look at this Mega Man 2 intro. What is that? What is that? Our third Capcom collaboration will feature Mega Man. What is that? There will, of course, be Mega Man themed exosuit skins and emotes along with a collaboration mission to fight a certain infamous boss character. Oh, the one eyed devil. Yep. We'll share more details about the collaboration mission soon. Or the yellow devil, sorry. That's cool. Title saw it, saw it happening from a mile away. New beta variant exosuits. Along with new rigs and modules. What's wrong with Mega Man's face? <laughs> Always. If Mega Man beta, can't have a good 3D cross. model, it's wild. Vigilant they just beta, can't they, they just can't do it. Krieger beta, Blitz Cannon. I even was kind of critical of the way beta, Mega Man animated and looked in Mega Man 11, right? Blitz Smash did it well, true. Shot, Smash Mega Man is peak beta, 3D Mega Man, I agree. But even Mega Man 11, I wasn't a huge fan of like the visuals in that game. It looked fine. Combined with the but it was always options, like, yeah. Players will be able to choose yeah. Exosuits and 11 was okay. Create your Legends own art style is good. I agree. Rigs and modules to make it through the ever intensifying war games. Realistic 3D Mega Man just doesn't work out. It almost has to be like a cell shaded style look. We're the only time it's ever been done well is game. Smash Brothers, dude. The first is the 10 player cooperative mode called Time Loop Rebellion. Look at this crazy shit. Prepare to take on the behemoth from the end of the game in a much more powerful form. Play the mode multiple times and meet set conditions to earn special cosmetics and other items as rewards that are only available in this mode. That includes big clown suit. these first class gold skins. Where's the Regina costume outside the of the Regina character? Match mode. In this mode, players on any platform can join a game together as long as they have the lobby code. X and you infinite looked okay. Any mode, mission, or stage. I disagree. And of course, you'll earn EXP and Bitcoin as well as advance the story. You'll also be able to participate in the ongoing Savage Gauntlet mission as well as Time Loop Rebellion. And finally, for our PvP players, we have Quick Brawl. This mode lets you play just the PvP final missions. Exo Primal has continued to add an array of content, including limited campaigns, Savage Gauntlet, boss battles, and more. Exo Primal What's with that Saber Wolf costume? drops on April 17th. We'll see you in the war games. Did this game do good in Japan? I don't know. I do not uh, know. Exo Primal is not really a bad game. It's just like with the, the different dances it isn't a in, insanely uh, popular, least, custom in, mode, insanely well crafted one. It's just like it's good. Game you want it's fine. It's and niche. The PvP mode. I think PvP players typically get the short end of the stick, so it's nice. It's not a bad game mode. either. It's yeah, just very like it's a it's a weird concept. Every single time I let's look at our next announcement. Every single time I played it, I was it never grabbed me. That was the problem. The Monster Hunter series. This is going to be the uh, the RPG games, right? That's a lot of mons. Don't miss the 20th anniversary celebration program streaming tomorrow, where we'll reveal the top 10 favorite monsters chosen by fans in the Hunter's Choice poll. What is the best Monster Hunter Check out mon? Our website and social media for details Valstrax is up there. I'm still a big Glavinous fan. And stay tuned for future Monster Hunter developments. Yeah, few months, right? Few months, we should be getting more. Hello everyone. My name is Chihiro Kano and I'm the game director for Monster Hunter Now at Niantic. Thank you for continuing to play and enjoy Monster Hunter Now. To commemorate the 20th anniversary of the Monster Hunter series, 
You can currently enjoy quests in Monster Hunter Now that reward a 20th anniversary medal, as well as an event thank you. all the subspecies and guaranteed Xenogra This is the mobile game? In yeah. In addition, Monster Hunter Now will celebrate its six-month anniversary on March 14th. To show our appreciation for our players, we will be giving away exciting rewards. All hunters who log in within the specific time period will receive in-game items, zinni, and more. On this day, we will also release a major update, and a new in-game season will begin. You will meet new monsters including Devil Joe, Odogara, and Tsitsiaku. Tsitsiaku. And play with hey, we we type, did pronounce that right. Blade. Huh? Damn. You can that weapon set looks sick. To new features, uh, such as I was always wondering if, if I ever pronounced Tsitsiaku correctly. I'll always say Tigrix. I will not say Tigrix. I want to share a small glimpse of what we have planned for the future. This is currently still under development and will be released sometime after March 14th. Be sure to stay tuned for more updates. Yeah, Tiger Tigrix. Exactly. That's Thank what you I for feel. Watching today. I know it's Tigrix, but I don't like it. We value your feedback and will keep on using it to improve the game and make I think it even more fun. This game did pretty well too, right? Continue to enjoy it. Monster Hunter now. This arguably might be one of Capcom's most successful mobile games outside of uh Teppen, which is still going. That was good. That was what I wanted. That's what I was looking for, and that's what I wanted. The first RPG yeah, I've tried a lot Monster of different Hunter mobile games, dude, over the past, like, ten ever. years, and none of them really hit. Teppin and, I think, Monster Hunter Go, whatever they're calling it now, ended up doing pretty well. So this is the 3DS game? Obviously. Yeah, that Mega Man Dive game did pretty good. How about we see the world together? That's some gnarly power you got there, kid. Shut up! What good are you? You did awesome! Thank you. Yeah, this is pretty much Pokemon Monster Hunter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just looking. Oh, yeah. Are we going back to Teppin? Um, that game got so many updates that I don't even... I'd have to start over. I'm a Queen's Blood player now. Because I'm able to keep up with the meta. The Strider cards. There was a Strider update to Teppin. It's so sick looking. Like, it actually is brand new Strider art in like the year 2023. And it's it's Techno Strider from the uh from the double helix game. It looks so sick. I love it. Yeah, Strider is an alternate skin for Rathalos, so you can actually have Strider as a hero. In the newly added museum mode, players can view over 200 pieces of concept art. With comments from staff about development that provide insight into the that game. That is such tech. a Capcom main character. Holy crap. The museum also includes the game's background music. This game Bond definitely Lens, uh Monster Hunter Stories gives off of I mean it's old, I get it. Version. But it definitely gives the off the Mega Man Legends sort of feel. In surround sound for the first time. Monster Hunter Stories launches for Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, and Steam on June 14th, 2024. Pre-orders will be available soon. Interesting to port this one. Players can pick up Naviru's King and Queen. I don't even need to be PS5, chat. Just play the PS4 version on PS5. Take advantage of this opportunity. That's it. That's all they're doing. You don't need a PS5 version of this game. Have this announcement. Let's 
So is this a sequel? Yeah. This was only on a uh, Switch before, right? Pragmata at the end of the event. Ha! I'm convinced that it was never real. June 14th, okay. On PS4 specifically. Yeah, these games aren't bad. Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of they the look like they're absolute throwaway, but to be real, everything like review-wise for these games is that they're pretty good. June 14th, 2024. Pre-orders will be available soon. Players can pick up Inna's Kamura Maiden outfit. Is it gotcha? No, it's just an RPG. Bonus. It's a Pokemon-style Monster Hunter RPG. <clears throat> Just expanding Both what they can Hunter do with the Monster Hunter IP, you know? Also be available as a special set. See the official website for details. Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin is also currently available for Nintendo Switch and Steam. I don't even realize it came out on Steam as well as Switch. Huh. Well, that's a wrap for day two of Capcom Highlights 2024. How'd you feel about today's announcements? A lot of really good stuff coming out. We had obviously the Akuma announcement, getting those Street Fighter Yeah, this is like, the, the, there isn't really a ton here. How he plays into the story the because in a few months, stuff. we might be getting a ton yeah, more of so Capcom announcements. A lot coming there as it was well. all right. In particular, I think the custom mode is going to be pretty big because being able to play games with friends is always fun. Being able to play however you want. And there's definitely a lot going on there. We so got to see Akuma, dude. He looks crazy. And then let's not forget. It looks better than Street Fighter V Akuma. That's for sure. Coming to PS4. And of course, those that never got to play the original get a chance to experience it, which I'm personally looking forward to. I didn't get a chance to play the first one on the 3DS, so finally being able to enjoy it on Steam, I'm going to have a blast. Yeah, Kuma looks super sick. Yeah, well, thank you for joining us. Uh, remember, if you missed day one or two of Capcom Highlights, you can <coughs> check it out on our YouTube channel. We'd like to give a special shout out to Nakayama-san for joining us all the way from Japan. Uh, I've been Andy from the Capcom USA community team. I've been Fighting Cowboy. Thank you again for having me. Of course, love having you. And for everyone else out there, thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. The only criticism I have for the, the, the Capcom guys on this uh, show, I'm being critical. I'm, I'm going to do production shit. Hold on a second, chat. There is awkward moments with devs. They have like this, the same thing happened with Itsuno-san, um, where they're like talking with devs, right? And then it does this weird like refresh. And there's like awkward pauses. Oh, thank you so much. For yeah, because these are obviously pre-recorded. Um, there's a super easy fix for this. There's a super easy fix for this situation. Um, take out the windows. Just have the individual one one big window here showing Nakayama saying, saying, hi guys, how's it going? And then you cut to another window that is that is Cowboy and Andy and another like just larger window of them going, hey, so what's going on with this? And then you cut back to Nakayama without the refresh thing. And it's like, hey, you know, well, yeah, we did this. And it cuts back to Andy and Cowboy. Hey, so that's cool. Thanks for joining us. And he goes, bye-bye. And then it just refreshes and you're done. It's clear that we are right before the big E3, not E3 timeframe, where there's probably gonna be some massive stuff from a Sony event pretty soon that might have some Capcom things in it. And there's clearly gonna be Monster Hunter updates. We're clearly gonna get first playable, if not first gameplay of Monster Hunter Wild. So, you know, we're only a, we're only a few months away from that actually happening.